Hey everyone, Ben from Living Survival, and today I wanted to show you my brand new small backpacking stove from Tokes. So if you guys have watched my videos for a while now, you've seen me use many different pots and pans and cups and things like that from Tokes. It's one of my favorite cookware to use. It's all titanium, it's very lightweight, and I take it with me on day hikes, camping, backpacking, and pretty much wherever I go if I'm gonna need camp cookware. So I recently just picked up the small version of the Tokes titanium backpacking stove, so we're gonna take a closer look. So I have a few different items from Tokes and I love their titanium cookware. I especially love this 750 milliliter pot with bale handle so it works really well around camp. It also works really well as a mug. I can cook or boil my two cups of water in it very easily and rehydrate a dehydrated meal for example or just boil up some water. It comes with a very nice lid to it so I use this quite a bit and the small backpacker stove from Tokes nests perfectly down inside. There's even more room in there if you wanted to add things such as little uh, spice packs or containers such as I have in the larger cook set. So I could actually fill these with spices or something and I could put a few of those right down into the cook set. It makes it very, very nice and very lightweight and very portable for backpacking or camping or hiking or even bug out bags and survival kits. I also have this larger 1600 uh, milliliter pot which I've used on many different camping trips and I have a smaller 450 milliliter pot for things like just a quick cup of coffee. So the 1600 comes with a pan lid which you can use as a pan and then of course doubles as the lid and they all come with stuff sacks and I just really like the Tokes titanium cookware. So today we're going to take a quick look and do a first burn in on this small backpacker stove from Tokes. So it comes with three parts and it's very easy to assemble. You simply just drop the little ash pan into the top feed section here and then you drop that whole thing down into the pot support and it becomes a small lightweight bio stove. And then you can easily put things like your 600 or 700 milliliter pot on the top. You can even put larger things on the top as well and you can see it's relatively stable. Alright so in the interest of time here I'm just going to go ahead and use a wet fire. We're losing light and I just want to test out the stove so I've got my kindling all laid out and I just want to go ahead and light the stove up. I like that it has a nice large opening up top for getting your fire going. That's really nice because I can just keep loading the small kindling in it and get the fire going. And then once you have your pot on top, it's got a little feed hole here up top, which is nice as well. And you can feed sticks all the way down. It gives you a lot of room in there. So, so far, I'm really liking it. So I got the stove nice and hot, so I'm going to just put two cups of water on and we're gonna see how long it takes to boil. I love how much room there is to put wood in here. I mean, even when it's full, you can just keep on feeding wood in, which is nice because it can fall all the way down to the bottom. All right, so we are full boiling here at just over eight minutes, which is awesome for a stove of this size. I'm very, very happy with that. It burned great the entire time. It seems to be efficient enough. It doesn't seem to be getting clogged down with uh, ash, which is something that especially when you put a pot on the top, which you would obviously do, it tends to ruin the updraft. And that's not the case with this small little stove. So very happy with that. As you can see, there is a ton of ash in here and it still didn't choke it out and it's still updrafted really well so it has to do with these primary vents down on the bottom which feed air and then these secondary vents around the side here so very nice and efficient and if I just let this sit here and smolder 
it would get smaller and smaller. Very nice for a super small stove. So hope you guys enjoyed that video today, taking a look at the small backpacker stove from Tokes. Cool little titanium stove. I love it that it nests down into my 750 milliliter pot. Now they do make a larger version that nests down into their 1100 millimeter pot, milliliter pot. And that one would be cool as well. But for me, ultra small and ultra lightweight, especially for just me or one other person, works really well. I like that it comes with its own stuff sack, so even when it gets dirty, I can just put it in the stuff sack and then nest it right down in my pot and have a very small all-in-one cook system with me when I head out into the woods. It works really well and seems to be fairly efficient and I think is a really cool solution if you want lightweight and something that is small and personal to cook with. So I hope you guys give this video a big thumbs up for me. Hope you leave me some comments below in the comment section and share this to your friends and family who might be interested on social networks such as Google+, Facebook, and Twitter. You can click show more and the share button to see not only the description where my social links are, but also to share this with others who might be interested. As always guys, if you haven't already done so, please click that red subscribe button for more videos.